So this is how this boy who's 11 years old with cleft lip and cleft palate came to us 10 days ago and that's him now 10 days after what we've done is an anterior maxillary distraction you can see how his upper jaw here was placed behind so the upper jaw was brought forward along with the nose at a very young age he's just 11 as I mentioned and this is possible by doing distraction osteogenesis the distractor was fabricated for him at our hospital we have inserted the distractor seated it done the surgery waited for a few days five days to be precise activated the distractor and produced new bone in his upper jaw and I've got it forward there's a lot of swelling you can already see from his face and all this swelling is going to come down light a white I'm going to also show you a distractor white light light ah so you can see the uh, distractor here now it's not very clear I'll show you some light maybe um, nah, that's much better so Allah uh, yeah so you see what you see is a distractor inside the metal that's sitting in the roof of the mouth and also the sides you have some whitish material which is the plastic or the acrylic that we've used to reinforce this appliance to seat in the mouth these are tooth bone distractors or basically they are attached on the teeth with the help of cements and then after surgery is done we turn them around okay he just asked him if he has any pain he doesn't have any pain right now so the beauty of this procedure is this distractor that you now see inside the mouth will be removed after four weeks by the time his own body will deposit new bone between the upper jaw so what we've done is i've split the jaw into two so by doing that we've got the front part of the jaw to move forward i'm not moving the full jaw forward if you cut the jaw like a slice like a bread slice and we've taken the front part forward leaving the back part behind so this is the upper jaw the cut goes somewhat like this and it runs at the base of the nose and down between the teeth and it's stretched and brought forwards so the biggest advantage patients who are of less age can be treated you don't have to wait till they become 17 or 16 or 18 and don't have to wait till the condition becomes worse the next big advantage is the conventional appliance was what we call as a halo frame patients had to wear over the head it's very cumbersome very difficult to wear that and go to school very difficult to even sleep now there's no issues for sleeping you can go to school you can work you can do anything you can also eat normal food so this is a big advantage the next advantage is the patients when they have this kind of surgery their speech improves the conventional surgery when you cut the jaw bring it forward and fix with plates and screws for a cleft patient has deleterious effects has an effect of worsening speech so we're going to improve the speech with this we're going to make sure he doesn't have any plates or screws inside his mouth also the biggest advantage is this is for life the relapse is not there and then i also said the other alternatives are very cumbersome so we have done more than 700 cases of this type in the last 16 years now we've got the largest publicated publications on this topic in the world got more than 500 cases published in various international journals american journals indian journals korean journals and maxillofacial and plastic surgery journals so this is a technique literally we pioneers we've done a lot of work we've got a lot of publications we have excellent orthodontists and dental surgeons and dental technicians who work with us as a team it's impossible to do this just by one person we need to have a team approach but it's really the gold standard, the best way to treat maxillary hypoplasia that's anywhere between mild to moderate at a younger age group of a patient. The only requirement for us is that the premolar should have erupted into the mouth. And that happens when the child is about 11 years. Pulburya. So he's been here for 10 days. He's wondering what I'm <laughs> blabbering for such a long time. 
and uh, ni pete ek bar bola yes when the appliance is inside the mouth you see his speech is not so good because obviously you can see the distractor comes in the way of the movement of the tongue and some patients when you place this in the initial time also have some small tongue bruises for which we put some wax to make sure it's smooth for a while naal varan kanchu varano naal varan kanchu varano ellathi kalti go scan it the core beam ct scan is a must if you doing procedures like these because you can see the monitor the progress you can see it from time to time from day on day end to see the amount of bone that gets deposited so adutha vadi ningalododa nama scan eduthu idu kalti uduvom kalina peru plate varum ithra munnadi undu vidhirigala rendu pakkam pallu vandu sendu irundhu ipo nama surgery pandrappa ipo gap vanduchu adu vandu elumbu puridhala appo adu appadi irukum ingi nama konda endha prachaniyum varadhu life long undi irukum and ninga paathittu nama next time varoda clear panniralam pallu aama இது நம்ம அப்ளையன்ஸ் பாப்போம் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் இது செட் ஆன உடனே எலும்பு சொல்ல அது கழட்டி வரும் அதுக்கு பிறகு நம்ம பல்ல கிளிப் போட்டு அது ரெடி பண்ணிக்கலாம் சரி சரியா இதெல்லாம் வீக்கம் இது வீக்கம் இது வீக்கம் அதெல்லாம் வீக்கல மத்திரம் முன்னாடிக்கு மாதிரி ஃபேஸ் சரியாயிரும் பல்ல மட்டும் ஜவுல முன்னாடி வரும் சார் வீக்கம் மத்தனால வந்து இது வந்து இதா இருக்கு அதல அப்படியே இருக்கும் எல்லாமே வீக்கம் வந்து முன்னாடிக்கு மாதிரி ஆயிரும் only thing நம்ம தாட மேல முன்னுக்கு வந்து பல்ல சொல்றோம் சரியா Okay thank you